I'm Andrew Hayes reporting from the NCG Cinemas here in Eastwood Town Center, Lansing, Michigan, for the premiere of The Cager. Let's go see uh, what famous people we can dig up. Are we going to have any surprise celebrity appearances here? Jennifer Aniston, anybody like that? I wouldn't say uh, to that level. Um, but I think we have uh, some cool people coming that people will enjoy. We're here with the legend, Dan Chapman. <laughs> the legend, huh? If you could have one person play you in a movie, who would it be? Uh, I'd say the guy from uh, Hole Zero. I, I forget his real name. I I'd definitely be him. Red or blue slushy? Uh, mix, red and blue. Best of, best of both worlds. Uh, first of all, I have to ask, who has better hair, you or Keenan? You know, I'd ha normally say myself, but since this is Keenan's big day, I'm gonna have to go say Keenan's got the better hair today. You know, his day. Who's most likely to talk on their cell phone for most of the movie? I would probably say uh, BJ, Brandon Dawson. He would probably be the one that would be talking, talking on the phone, trying to get something set up for after the movie. Which member of your team is most likely to throw popcorn during the premiere of this? <laughs> probably Dawson. He's he's liable to do it. So. Uh... He's kind of the team clown. Your teammates, every single one of them, predicted you to make a disturbance at some point in this Me? film. Yeah, you were chosen both most likely to throw popcorn and most likely to talk on a cell phone throughout the whole movie. Is there any truth to this? No, there's, there's no truth to that. I don't even have my cell phone over right now, and I don't have any popcorn, so you know I'm not <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. You you would think of Denzel Valentine. I'm here with Denzel Valentine again, eating food. So is that piece of good? That piece of good? That's fire. I'm it, hungry. It might be that. So do they give you free popcorn here, right? No, not exactly. Better feeling this premiere or walking out on uh, Breslin Center Court the first time? That's tough because my first game I played uh, was actually on the carrier and the president was courtside, so it's kind of a toss-up. So uh, I don't know, but this is kind of a different feeling. This is uh, kind of a step away from basketball, so yeah. You know, I think it's always exciting when you see guys that had a dream. You know, when Keenan first told me about this, when Delvon first told me about his, I went, yeah, right. But that's probably the same thing people say when I said I want to be a head coach at in a Big Ten school someday. Yeah, right. So. I've always believed that uh, I got a chance to live my dream and I really hope each and every one of them get a chance to live theirs. <laughs> 